In the x direction, the stress which is acting is sigma x. In the y direction, the stress which is acting is sigma y. And in z direction, the stress which is acting is called as sigma z. There are some parts on which single stress is acting. But there are some parts on which three-dimensional stress would be acting. This concept is called as 3D state of stress. Let us move further. The another uh, classification of stress can be done in this manner. There are basically two types of stresses. The first one is normal stress. And normal stress has been given certain other names also, which is axial stress and direct stress and the second type of stress is called as tangential stress tangential stress can also be named as shear stress now let us go one by one and understand what is normal stress and tangential stress let us start first with the tensile stress you can see in the diagram there is a rectangular bar on which i am giving the pull force if two equal and opposite tensile forces are applied on a body, then the body will go through elongation of the length and decrease in the area. So that elongation of length is because of the tensile stress. So I'll again repeat the definition. If a body is going through two equal and opposite pull forces, then the stresses induced in the body is called as the tensile stress. This diagram clearly shows that the two equal and opposite forces are given. If I need to denote this stress in a mathematical form, then this is how it is done. Sigma T, that is tensile stress, T stands for tensile, PT. Again, tensile force, T stands for tensile and P stands for force and A stands for cross-sectional area. So, if I need to find out mathematically, I can use this formula. Let us move further. Compressive stress. The exact opposite of tensile stress, I can call it as the compressive stress. You can see in the diagram, a body is there and two equal and opposite push forces are given in that direction. So, I can define compressive stress as if a body is going through two equal and opposite push forces, then the stresses induced in that body are called as compressive stresses. Now, let us see the diagram. This is what it shows. In compressive stresses, since the push force is given, so the length is going to decrease and there's going to be increase in certain area. If I want to mathematically denote the compressive stress, then it is by this way, sigma C. C stands for compressive and sigma stands for compressive stress. PC, compressive force. C stands for compression and P is the force, so compressive force. And A stands for cross-sectional area. Now, let us move further to the other type of stress. Now, since we have talked about compressive stress, so let us solve one numerical on compressive stress. Now, determine the compressive stress developed in a punch of 10 mm diameter. So, you can see diameter given is 10 mm. Used to make a hole of 10 mm diameter in 8 mm mild steel plate. The shear strength of mild steel is 300 mega pascal. So here the shear strength given is 300 mega pascal. I already told you one mega pascal is one Newton per mm square. So the conversion would be 300 Newton per mm square. What I need to do is that I need to find out the compressive stress which is denoted by sigma C. Let us start. What I'm going to do is that first I'll find out the value of shear stress. Now, you know, shear stress is also force upon area, right? So if shear stress given is 300 and if the P is to be found out and A is to be found out, then finally I'm going to focus on P. Now, if area, it is of a steel plate, so it is going to be pi dt 
pi into diameter is given as 10 and thickness is given as 8 mm right so this is going to be 80 pi so area is going to be 80 pi so i found out the area and shear stress is already given so i can write down p is equal to tau into a so it is going to be 300 into 80 pi now i need to find out the compressive stress so compressive stress sigma c is equal to pc upon area i already have found out the area so now i can easily write down pc is equal to 300 into 80 into pi divided by pi by 4 into d square and d is 10 so if i do the proper calculations i will find out compressive stress as 305.58 newton per mm square so i basically found out the compressive stress so we have discussed tensile stress we have discussed compressive stress 